Greetings, liberal comrades, and welcome to the introduction to Sid Meier's Alien Crossfire, a turn-based strategy game developed by Firaxis Games in 1999. This is the expansion to Sid Meier's Alien, uh, Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri, forgive me. Now, um, this is a, uh, a 4X turn-based strategy game set in the near future. Um... For those of you who don't know, uh, uh, Sid Meier and Brian Reynolds had their breakaway with Microprose, I believe, who at the time uh, you were, were responsible for the Civilization franchise. So they had a breakaway. Um, yet, uh, you know, Sid Meier, and Brian Reynolds did great. You know, were were, were very uh, important to the development of the Civilization games. So they couldn't just go out and write, you know, make another Civilization. They had to do something on their own. Hence, what we have here is this game. Um, in the near future, uh, humanity uh, pulls its resources together and builds a great starship to send to its nearest neighbor, Alpha Centauri. Uh, there have been reports of an Earth-like planet which will be habitable, and given the deteriorating conditions on Earth, the United Nations feel it is necessary. They create the starship Unity in a Everybody who boards it is sent to into cryo sleep uh, during the trip. Well, there's a huge backstory for this game, but uh, to sum it up, something goes wrong, and in all the ensuing chaos, what you uh, have is a schism between seven leaders, figureheads, on board the Unity. So seven colony pods shoot off towards Pl Charon, Charon, what is later known as Planet in this game, which is where you will be uh, playing on planet in Alpha Centauri. Um, Alien Crossfire introduces new factions which are splinters from the already seven established factions. Five of them are anyway. The other two are alien factions themselves, both diametrically opposed to one another and who have returned for specific purposes on planet. Now, uh, by the way, just so you folks know, Sid Meier did have a hand in developing this. Sid Meier has done... Sid Meier is a figurehead of the gaming community. Oh my goodness. Pirates. Civilization. Over action. <laughs> oh my. Oh, this is truly a wonderful game. Uh, I still have the technology tree for this game. Hanging up in a wall. On my wall. Right next to my computer desk. I'm looking at it right now. It's... This game is amazing. I bought it, I bought it in 1999. Uh, oh. Anyway, um... Now that I've pretty much had my little game gasm there, I reckon we should get on with this, huh? So uh, we're gonna go to start game. We are doing uh, the huge map of planet. Uh, this is the originally designed map of planet. Uh, the, the the landmarks and whatnot, which are used, which were used in like the canonical backstory and everything. There's a lot of backstory material for this game. I I suggest you look it up and read it. Along with that, uh, there. Uh, I love this game so much because it came with a huge instruction manual. I loved reading instruction manuals when I was a little... And this thing was massive. Over 200 pages. I still own it, too. I see it right now. <laughs> it's great. Oh, good times. Okay. We have a set of difficulty levels here. And, uh, how gently the game treats you. I'm going to pull first here. I've never played on Transcend Difficulty before. I also haven't had a warm-up game. and It's been several months since I've played this. I may lose, but that'll certainly keep things interesting. But in a in trade-off for me picking the transcend difficulty level, I'm doing things my way, customizing the rules, and I already set it off the way I want. Yes, that's good. I am also picking my own custom faction because I'm doing this on a transcend difficulty, a difficulty I've never personally attempted. Um, I, I feel a right to pick my own faction. Now, uh, here are the seven original factions. I'll actually go over them with you all. We have Gaia Stepdaughters. They are a pacifistic um, group who, uh, who seek to take care of this planet after how uh, ill-taken care of Earth was. And those are their stats. Deidre Sky. That's their leader. We have the Human Hive led by Chairman Shinji Yang. Um, he is an atheist police state. He hails from uh, Great China, and um, he believes in controlling his people. Uh, 
We have uh, Academician Proko Zakarov, who, uh, who leads the University of Planet. He dedicates himself to research, and if you didn't guess, he's from Russia. <laughs> Morgan Industries, led by a guy who wasn't originally supposed to be on the ship, but he bought his way into it because he was the primary funder for building the starship. He is a wheeler and dealer, uh, free trade, free market, lays of fare. CEO Noah Budike Morgan. He and Deidre really do not get along. We have Colonel Corazon Santiago, who is uh, who leads her own uh, independent um, group of militants who seek to be isolationists and guard their borders. But you know, hey, they, they see acquisitions they can make, they're more than liable to take it. Cover their stats there again. Then we have one of the most aggravating faction leader I have ever faced. Sister Miriam Godwinson. From the Christian states of America. She, uh, she and, she's pretty much opposed to everyone, but she especially hates Zakharov. They really do not get along. Um, then we have, um, let's see here, Commissioner Pravanlal, who, uh, who seeks to, uh, maintain the UN Charter. He was a member of the, you know, a UN ambassador? A unity... United Nations Space Authority, whatever. Um, he and Lao, uh, this is Lao, he and Yang uh, do not get along at all, since Lao believes in democracy and he believes in a police state society. So the only other person who's really separate from hatred here is Santiago. Everybody else has a diametrically opposed enemy. That's the original seven. Here's the new seven. We have Prime Function Aki Zeta 5, who leads a group of cyborgs. They're divergent from Zakharov, uh, the researchers, University of Planet. We have the Nautilus Pirates, led by Captain Ulrich Svensgard, who uh, basically decided, I do the things I want to do. Fuck all of you. <laughs> yeah, agenda. Pillage and burn. This would be hilarious, and I would actually play them. If he wasn't so overpowered. Um, contrary to everybody else who has to build land bases, all of his bases, well, at least at the start, he can build freely on the ocean. And uh, that's actually really overpowering, especially against the AI. Um, so, yeah, but uh, he's a buccaneer. Then we have the free drones led by Foreman Domai. He uh, basically, he, a huge revolt was led against uh, Yang and other groups. You know, just to support a democracy and uh, emancipation of the working class. Then we have the Data Angels. Who, this is this is this is the most retarded faction. The Info Girl, um, basically devoted to the free flow of information through hacking and everything, and uh, a democratic society. And yeah, whatever. Then we have a creepy faction known as the Cult of Planets. Uh, Led by a kid whose birth is explained in a bunch of the backstory. I'm not going to get into that. Suffice to say, he's fucking creepy. And he loves the native life on this planet, which is something called Mind Worms. You, you, we'll, you'll see more of those later. He's really creepy. Now we have the two alien factions. We have the Manifold Caretakers. This planet is known to them as Manifold Six. We have the good... Um, the good type of this race, who seek to preserve the planet and uh, restore it to its natural, pristine state. Naturally, this means eradicating all humans from it. What do you know? Then we have the Manifold Usurpers, led by uh, Judah Mar. That's led by Lular Hmim, whatever. Uh, who seek to use Manifold 6 to fuel their transcendence. Wonderful, I know. It, if you hadn't figured out, these alien factions are also super powered. If I were to pick them, I might very well have an easy time with this. But that's not what we're here for. So let's go over here to the slate. We're going to be using my personal faction that I created. Naturally called the Sect of Grimoth. 
this is the faction I play with. Um, the, the, yeah, this, this, I, I created this. I cobbled together a bunch of, fa uh, of faction, you know, palettes and whatnot. And this is the one I made for myself. Uh, very, it's pretty much a blend of uh, Yang and uh, Miriam. So uh, a, a police state combined with fundamentalist dogma. But instead of, you know, worshipping a supreme being you can't see, you worship Grimoth. Absolutely. Um... He uh, has some difficulty in growth, and he doesn't really handle facing uh, the native life of planet that well, but he does a rather splendid job otherwise. Hopefully I'll be able to carry him to victory. That'll be rather humiliating. And there's a quote there. Get a chance to read that. In the meantime, I'm going to probably cut the video around here. So give me a moment.